In New Orleans, John Reeves and Archie Manning, the futures of two franchises, discussed flush times in the SEC before the start of the game between the Saints and the Philadelphia Eagles. The Saints' future began looking bright indeed when he hit Danny Abramowitz for the game's first score in the first quarter. Archie collapsed the throat of the Eagles' zone early. And this strike to tight end Bob Brown had the Saints threatening again. But Leroy Keats blunted this drive with an end zone interception and the Saints had to settle for a 7-3 halftime lead. The Eagles chose not to go with John Reeves and started number 14, Pete Lisk, instead. Number 30, Ernie Jackson's interception was only part of a world of mistakes made by the Eagles' faulty offense. And it's just as well that Philadelphia chose not to start their future today. Well, this kind of exposure might have traumatized any yearling quarterback. Even when two Philadelphia Eagles did manage to coordinate on a single play, a third generally found a way to confound their efforts. Meanwhile, New Orleans' future was looking better and better as Archie coupled once again with Danny Abramowitz for a 14-3 lead. When Archie screened to number 35, Bob Gresham, the Eagles tagged him at least twice on the 54-yard run that set up his own one-yard touchdown plunge, making the Saints superior to the Eagles by 21-3. to 